Hello everyone and welcome to episode 3 of Let's Play Planet Coaster Project Dean Resort here on Theme Parks Direct. Now in today's video you'll be seeing me finish off the entrance plaza for the main entrance to the Dean Resort along with starting on the main street area which isn't fully completed in this video. However in the next episode you will not be seeing me co complete it. I'll be working on the first roller coaster and themed area right at the back of the park. We're going to be working our way from the back forwards is my kind of plan with this park so far uh, and what I've kind of come up with because then it kind of gives me an idea of spacing, how I'm going to lay it out and then it just gives me an indication on what I'm going to do with it. But yeah, I, in this video it's literally just me adding in the final details on the hotel which you saw in the last video. If you didn't see it, go check it out. There's a full playlist which I'll leave in the top right hand corner which you can see all our Planet Coaster videos from. You can see I'm adding in some of the two, uh, the uh, T TMTK uh, props from the uh, Planet Coaster store on Steam Workshop which are all free to download and they're just the community's creations which honestly the, some, some of the stuff that you guys make in the Planet Coaster store is absolutely unbelievable and you know without that I wouldn't be able to put in some of the details that I have on this building and the entrance plaza as well. But yeah you can just see me stop in here and I'm kind of working out what I'm going to do with it where I'm going to put different things uh, and you can see as you can see in front of you there's already th those different things that I've downloaded but yeah in this video as I said you'll be seeing the main street being starting to build uh, along with there you go it's picked up again uh, and then and not along with some buildings along it adding in some of the pathways and it, it looks really nice I'm glad with how it's turned out so far uh, it's kind of how I wanted it to be. And now I was thinking about putting a train station. I want a nice little mode of transport around the park. A bit like what Disney have. A lot of this, what you'll see in this episode. Um, and yeah, just the main area. It's kind of Disney. It'll look a bit like a Disney park. However, that's and that's kind of what I was basing it off. That's not the theme I was going with. However, that's what you'll see uh, happening in this video. Yeah, you, as you can see here, I'm adding in some planting around the nice little lake feature, which really is going to have like a little like, um, sort of water jet show, which we'll see go in in a few moments' time. Yeah, it's not really a show. It's just kind of a sequence that keeps going on, and it's nice these nice jets that just keep shooting up out of the water, which it looks really nice outside the main entrance. And I thought it just gives it a bit more, as it kind of looks a bit bare. I was thinking about putting in maybe a gazebo in the middle, and then I thought, you know, wouldn't it be quite nice having a big water show going off every few seconds? Uh, that would that would look really nice as guests are walking up to the park, and it, they are quite high these jets as well. But yeah, I can't believe we're on episode 3 already. I mean, I know it's been a bit of a delay this episode, but that has mainly just been getting back to the parks. It's brilliant that we've been able to get back to them. I mean, this episode, I'm, I can talk so much about them. Obviously, last time, it's a bit like, oh, talking about what's going to be coming up. Now we can dive straight in and talk about what's been going on in the theme park industry. But yeah, obviously, if you don't know, Thought Park had their opening annual pass holder day the other day, which was brilliant. And I just want to say a big thank you for all the support on that vlog. We had over a thousand views on it. And the amount of subscribers we've gained in the past week, I think we've gone up about 50 subscribers or so, which is absolutely phenomenal. And I want to thank each and every one of you who have subscribed. And if you are new to this channel and first time watching the Planet Coaster series, welcome. Welcome to the channel. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for being a member of the community. And yeah, here you go. You can see me messing around with some of the jets here. I'm now I didn't stick with this mainly what it's just going to be is the main big jets there you go just seeing them go in there and I put in the nice little trigger sequence on top of the uh, hotel entrance but yeah back to the parks yeah Thought Park had their Merlin annual pass holders day the other day uh, which was brilliant to get back on all of our rides it was it was so quiet and the park was so empty compared to Chesington the week before which I'll go on to talk about in just a second but yeah Thought Park brilliant to get back brilliant to get back on the swarm stealth saw was running really nicely there the other day which was brilliant to see normally it doesn't always ride too great maybe that was because it was the morning we were doing it but yeah it was running really nicely it's from that trip it's made it a lot higher in my rankings i think now i'm going to rate it about my third favorite at the park i think probably you know colossus is my least favorite i still love colossus don't get me wrong it was my first looping coaster uh, so i do have a bit of a connection to it however i think you know it could do with a few pieces of track work just to make it a bit smoother maybe a bit of a repaint as well um, but yeah, I, and obviously all this will probably change in the next few years after the uh, go-ahead of Project Exodus. And we're still waiting for planning permission to be confirmed, but from what it looks like, it's pretty much going to be likely that it does go ahead. Which is exciting news, obviously, for all of us enthusiasts and just Thought Park, Thought Park visitors in general. It looks absolutely brilliant. 
Brilliant now. I would have liked it to have been a bit longer, however, you know, we can't have everything. It's going to have so many world-breaking elements as well. I believe it's going to be the tallest in the UK. It's going to have one of the fastest speeds in the UK and also potentially having Europe's tallest inversion, which is brilliant. Such an iconic coaster it will be. I think it will definitely be up there in one of my favourites in the UK, if not the world. I mean, obviously, I haven't done many in the world and that will be soon to change over the course of this year we're heading out to a few parks across the across the globe this year not too many but i think we're gonna be heading over to port Ventura in the summer which is great news um yeah just gonna be doing a bit of traveling this year i'm gonna be messing around with the travel vlogs as well which i spoke about in the last episode so i won't get into too much about it as it probably be a bit, bit boring to go back into that again but yeah back to the game quickly you can see me adding in the monorail station this end of the park I wanted this to really fit in with the, how the uh, main entrance looks, so I gave it that sort of, you know, fantasy theme. I don't really want the whole entrance thing to look too fantasy, however, or fairy tale, however you want to describe that genre. But, you know, it kind of does give it a bit more of that magical sort of vibe. And I cannot wait. I was piecing it all together. I've never done one before. I'd love to do a fireworks show display across the lake, which you'll see go in in the next few episodes time after I've started working on, you know, the, the new area, which I'm going to build, which I'll talk about in a little bit uh, time later in the episode. I'm not going to spoil too much just yet. But yeah, I'm adding a nice little uh, clock on the wall there. Obviously, there's one on the main entrance, but obviously you might want to know what the time is down here and you can't really see up by the main entrance from that viewpoint. But yeah, I'm going to add in a nice few details. It looks very similar, obviously, to the sort of details on the main entrance, which is fine. That's what I was going for. I wanted it to look really similar. Uh, and yeah, I thought it was just quite a nice little station building. Obviously, all the windows going in underneath as well. I'm thinking about going back off camera, maybe adding in a door, just to give it a bit more realism, as this would obviously be sort of like offices for staff members uh, and just, you know, out of out of show facilities, which staff and that, I could put a staff building in there just to give it a bit more realism. Yeah, that's obviously, like at, at many of the parks around the world, st like show buildings and offices where we're hidden in just plain theming, which you wouldn't even think of some of the time. And that's what I really love about the parks. They put so much, you know, detail and care into it. You, I mean, you wouldn't even realise that, that that was an office or whatever it is inside. Like the dark rides as well over at Disney, they're so well themed. Uh, you wouldn't even know that that was, that was a proper ride in there. But yeah, I'm adding in the queue here. You're, if you do remember our vintage series, you'll see a bit of a uh, you know, similar thing going in with the queue around this. I do adding a lot of flowers around this, just to give it a bit more of, you know, oh, I wanted to really go, go full out with this park. And yeah, you'll see a nice few patterns of flowers around this entrance. Not sure if I too, do like it or not. Uh, it's still gro sort of growing on me. <laughs> Get it? Flowers growing? Uh, that, was, that was a rubbish one. Uh, but yeah, still sort of growing on me if I like it or not. I don't know. I'll have to see about it. There's obviously parts of this park that I've already built that I'm thinking to myself, you know what? I could go back and do it all again uh, in a completely different way. But you know what? What I've built is, you know, at the time in the moment doing it. And if the, if there is something I want to change, I'll go off and do it on camera and then maybe fill, it, fill you in on what I've done. However, at the minute, it's like I'm thinking to myself, you know what? I've gone and done it at the moment, that, and at the moment of doing it, that's what felt right. So I'm, you know, obviously maybe it's just me seeing other people's creations and going, oh, that, that, that's better. But you know what? It's it's what I've done. It's my creation. Um, so I do have to kind of get in that mindset of doing that. I've got so many more plans of parks for the future. So I want to do some recreations as well. A lot of you didn't. I've been asking for the uh, Chesington one. That if you're an OG fan of the channel, if you're here from day one, you'll know that we did a bit of a Chesington recreation that didn't go too well. I think my Planet Coaster skills have definitely, definitely improved since then. Um, but yeah, some people have been asking for that to return. Some others asking for a Thought Park. One, obviously, we did Saw the Ride, which was very popular, and a lot of people did want to see that return. Um, yeah, you, we'll just have to wait and see, won't we? I mean, I'll, I'll definitely consider doing something like that. Um, but yeah, I'd, I'd like to do another park after this. I'm not sure what I'm going to do. I've been thinking about maybe doing a, one of the challenge parks where you get a certain amount of money, and you have to try and see how you manage with it. I mean, that might be quite fun to do. Uh, you know, obviously, any suggestions, let me know in the comments below. But yeah, I'm just trying to think of different ways to do it. Um, I've also wanted to do maybe, you know, different stuff. I want to do an indoor park, maybe. And yeah, I wanted to, I really wanted to do with this park. However, it seems to have disappeared that idea doing it. I really wanted to go full out on realism. Um, obviously this park would be, if it was built, it would be built in the UK. That's what I've kind of themed it to. Um, 
But yeah, I wanted to go full out realism. However, that doesn't seem to have happened. I seem to have fallen back into the trap of over theming everything, which obviously is never a bad thing. However, just realistically, you wouldn't have this much theming in a UK theme park. But yeah, um, I'd like to you know revisit it and revisit a new park. Well, not even revisit then if it's a new park. But yeah, start a new park up when this one's finished. Uh, maybe as soon as possible. Uh, and then, you know, try and do a realistic one. Which I'd like to do. It'd be nice to try and move away from doing loads of theming and overdoing it and coming into a bit of more of a realistic one. Obviously, if you look at theme parks nowadays in the UK, you know that there's kind of different viewpoints and different things and not too much theming. However, kind of the theming that's already there does kind of for a UK park. For example, the Swarm, that's brilliant over there. Not too much theming, but it still gives you that sort of feel as if you're in an ap apocalyptic world, which is really nice. Obviously, a bit like Disney, if they did it, they'd have all uh, berms, which are the sort of hills around each area, which kind of blocks you off from the other parts of the park. That's why some of their rides are very low-lying, so you don't see them from other areas, which is nice, obviously, because then you feel like you're immersed in this one world, which is what I'm thinking about doing if I did a realistic park, or maybe with this park, really. I, don't, I wouldn't really do the berms in sort of a realistic UK one, because that doesn't really, you know, get seen as much in a UK park, but I might do it with this one. I've been sort of doing it already in the new area, which I'll, I'll go on to talk about in just a second, but yeah, they're, they're my few plans for what I want to do in the future. Let me know what you want to see. Yeah, I'd like to do a bit of a realistic one. It'd be quite a nice bit of a change from what we normally do on the channel. Uh, but yeah, what I want to talk about now is the uh, new area that I've built. Really, I've probably spent a good 10 hours working on this. It's been, yeah, a lengthy process trying to do this. Um, oh, but quickly before I talk about that. Yeah, didn't record building this because <laughs> it failed to. This is the first building in the uh, Main Street sort of area. Uh, and I was really glad with how this one turned out. I think it's my favourite building so far, along with the cinema, which we'll see going in a little bit of time. Uh, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with the cinema. It might just be for show. I'm not sure if I'll actually put one in there. Might do, though. Might be quite nice to have a little bit of a cinema, a bit of a show going on in there. Could be a bit of theatre as well uh, to use. But, you know, might 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 do, might not. Um, but, yeah, back to what I was saying. The new area is going to be a pirate-themed area. I've always wanted to do a proper pirate-themed area. Um, and yeah, that's finally going into play, and that you'll be seeing that in the next episode, starting that off, building the new coaster. And if you're wondering why it's taken so long, I've spent about a good 10 hours so far, is because I've probably built, actually I say 10 hours, it probably has been longer, I've, I've you know built this area a good three times, and all in different parts of the park. And every time I've done it, excluding the time I've done, you know, the recent one, which you'll be seeing in the next one, yeah, I just, I've just i done it and then thought to myself, I could do that so much better. Um, and yeah, that, that's what I've gone, I've, I've done it a few times and I just want this park to be perfect. Uh, so yeah, you'll see this, the, the one going in the next episode have a lot of detail going into it. A big difference from the uh, main entrance, I know that's got detail, but yeah, this pirate one coming in, yeah, it's going to be a proper immersive experience. Uh, which I'm really glad with how it turned out so far, I haven't finished it all, I've... Uh, Nearly done the coaster. Actually, no, I have done the coaster. I finished the coaster off. I've probably gone up, uh, you know, the next two episodes I've probably pre-filmed by now. Um, and yeah, I'd, I've probably another episode or two to finish it off. Yeah, the pirate will probably expand over a good two or three, maybe four, pushing it, maybe three episodes just to cram it all in. But yeah, it's, it's nice to see it all coming together. I'm, I'm probably going to have about four or five different areas. Obviously, I said earlier in the series, I want to do a studio park next to it. That's why there was that kind of painted part, like curve shape. That's where I'm going to put a studios park in, a bit like Disney. As I was saying, I'm going to go with that sort of vibe, uh, as you can see from the uh, main street. I'm not sure about those flower beds. I might go and change them after looking at them for another time. Uh, yeah, I wasn't really too sure about them. Yeah, you know, no, I might, I might have to go. I might, I might just leave it. Um, or I might keep it the same. Don't know yet. But yeah, um, yeah, Studios Park. Yeah, I think it'll be quite interesting to do. Obviously, I've kind of experimented with that off camera. But I'd, I'd like to see how it would turn out properly if I did a proper park with it. Obviously, you've got the, the uh, Ghostbusters pack. I would like to do a ride with that. I think that'd be quite cool. Uh, Back to the Future, I love the film, so yeah, yeah that would be quite fun to mess around with. And a few others would be quite cool to experiment with. I'd like to do a few dark rides, a big coaster, 
you know, and, and just have it as a separate attraction park, which, you know, if you don't want to visit the main park, yeah, as obviously this is going to be a resort, so you, you can stay a few days, do the main park, and then head on and do the studios park a day later. But you can see another one of the buildings going in here. Uh, this is going to be a fast food outlet for the hot dogs, which is really nice. I thought this was a quite a nice different st style build that I hadn't done before. It's going to be kind of a mix of different kind of style buildings. Obviously, this one's quite industrial sort of looking. The other ones are a bit more fantasy. We've got an ice cream shop. And it's just quite nice tying all these different themes in together. But yeah, adding a few of these. I do duplicate this sort of building and then redesign it just to make my life a bit easier. And, you know, you wouldn't notice that it would be the same building. At least oh, I don't think I would. But yeah, you can see that one going in just there. And then, no, I actually, no, 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 no. I moved it over to there. That's it. Yeah, there we go. And then I think next to that, I put in a cinema, I believe. Yeah, I believe I do. Uh, which you can see go in. And then, just to give it a bit more realism, which guests wouldn't be able to see if they were just on the normal path or anywhere in the park when there's going to be trees around it and it's fully de decorated. But it's just got kind of a massive warehouse behind those buildings there. Obviously, as I said before, it will be like a storage unit for staff, uh, staff offices as well. Yeah, just kind of a bit of behind the scenes back of house sort of area which they can all use but yeah look at that those fountains look absolutely brilliant got about five minutes left of the episode but as i said earlier i'm gonna go move on to chesington parcel today that was brilliant really like getting back to chesington queues though were a bit manic and the operations weren't the greatest if i'm gonna be honest with you vampire was only on a one train yeah i don't think i'm ever gonna be queue for vampire on a one train operation ever again yeah, we wait quite a while for that one. Yeah, two and a half hours for Vampire that day <laughs> in the in the cold. It wasn't the nicest of experiences. However, you know, we learn. We we you know it would be you know it's just the moment, isn't it? Just trying to get back to the parks. It was just quite nice getting back on it at least, and it was worth it once you queued it. Well, yeah, yeah, it was. It's such a classic. 30, 31 years, I believe, this year, isn't it? 32, 31? Okay, I can't keep count with that ride. I wonder what they're going to do with it, though, when they've uh, when it's come to the end of its lifetime. I'd like to see them retrack it, at least. Yeah, maybe after Project Amazon. Come on, come on, retrack Vampire Chesington. Be nice to see them keep it on. A bit like Nemesis. Yeah. Don't know if I'm too keen on them retracking it. I mean, it's nice to see that it's such an iconic ride that they have to keep it. But I don't know if it'll have that iconic roar going around the track. But yeah, you know, overall Chesington was great. Nice to get back on some of the favourites. Only got on four rides that day. But, you know, as I say, it was it was still quite a busy day. Nothing compared to Thorpe Park. I still was blown away with how quiet it was. But yeah, you know, it was, it was all right day. It was good. It was good, good to get back at the park. First park of the year. However, I do think, you know, they could have been a bit better operations. I don't think they were too fully prepared to open this year, Chesington. You know, it'd be nice to see them, you know, a bit more prepared. However, you know, you can't always be fully prepared for it. But, you know, at least at least they tried. And I'm looking forward to seeing the progression of Project Amazon. It'll be great to see. I'm going to try and keep as many updates for you on the channel, which will be nice to see. Uh, I'm hopefully, opening next year is advertised. So, but yeah, I think construction will progress quite rapidly over the next few months which will be nice nice to see the coaster track starting to go up soon uh, i don't know if it's been delivered yet i think it's uh, still being tested or whatever being built somewhere else and then it'll be shipped over but yeah it'll be nice to see uh, when that arrives go and uh, maybe see them start putting the track up which will be good but yeah coming up to the end of the episode about three minutes left and as you can see here i'm putting in the cinema you can see me just take this uh, one out of the basically the uh, steam workshop I just basically wanted to make my life a little bit easier. I don't normally like copying other people's stuff, but just to make my life easier, I just put in these little signs and I just copied it onto uh, the cinema sign. I don't use anything else from it. But yeah, I just changed some of the signage and, you know, just put my own park name on it. Yeah, I just thought that would just make my life a little bit easier, fit in a bit more, and we can just pop that on the front of the cinema there. You know, it looks fine, looks fine, and credit to the uh, creator for that as well. Um, but yeah, I'm really glad with how the cinema turned out. I, it kind of gives me a bit more of American sort of vibes, which is what I was kind of going for. It, I know it's a UK park, so on the other side, and kind of mixed in with these builds, I am going to put a few more British looking shops. I think the ice cream one looks quite British, along with the industrial sort of one. I think it was just mainly this one that looked a bit Americanized. That was mainly because I put an American flag on the top, which, which you know, maybe gives it that sort of feel. But yeah, as I said, I think I might put in a cinema in here. I'm not too sure what I'm going to do. 
might look quite good having it in there. Uh, and then guests can go watch maybe a show or something. Maybe I'll put together a little clip if you all want to see that. Maybe put together a little movie. Uh, which might be quite fun to do. I'm not too sure what I'm going to do. Maybe I'll just leave it um, and come from back at a later date. But yeah, it won't be a while. it'll be a while still if I did decide to do that. It'll probably be later in the series. But you know, I might I might consider doing it. It might be quite fun. Yeah, adding in those fine little details on the cinema here. I thought this looked quite nice. Adding in these uh, little wooden planks on it. It gives it a bit of detail, a bit of texture. Don't mind a bit of texture in Planet Coaster. Nice adding that little bit of detail in. But yeah, yeah, it looks really nice. I was kind of contemplating on what sort of star to go with on some of the buildings and I kind of got it to the right right amount of what I wanted which was nice to finally get it uh, and I think after building this cinema and after seeing the sort of style I liked I think we got a bit of a stronger stronger thought process of, of how I'm going to do it which is always good. But yeah as I say look it does look a bit American doesn't it? Looks a bit like something you'd see on Main Street. Um, but yeah, obviously, it looks really nice. I'm coming up to the end of the episode now, about a minute left, and I'm so glad with how it's turned out. Uh, I'm re really looking forward to the progression of the series. Thank you so much if you made it this far in the episode. I know it can be quite boring and quite tiring to sit through 20, 20 something minutes of me building a few buildings in Planet Coaster, but I promise you next episode will be much more exhilarating and fun, uh, and I think it will definitely start kicking off in the episode after that, definitely. It'll be a lot better, especially when you start seeing a lot more of the theming going in. It's mainly, you know, the next one is just me putting some of the rides in. Putting a, a, the Actually, no, we do theme up the entrance building, which is nice to see. So, yeah, I'll try and get that one out as soon as possible for you. Just need to get it finished editing and also uh, do the voiceover for it. I've got a few other videos in plan as well. I'm trying to get back into the spirit of uploading, which is nice since the parks have just reopened. But, yeah, thanks everyone for watching. Uh, please remember to subscribe, leave a like, uh, and yeah, help us onto the road to 1,100 subscribers, which I don't think will be too long at the rate we're going. But thanks everyone again for your continued support, and I'll see you all in the next episode. Goodbye everyone!